And the 14th of January was a dark and horrifying day for the Emir of Potiskum when gunmen launched an attack on his convoy around Marabanjos on the Kaduna Zaria Expressway at about 11 p.m. The royal father, who narrowly escaped death and has been recovering, recounts how he trekked in the bush for about two hours to escape his attackers. Yobe, our correspondent in Yobe State, Michael Oshuma, reports. It is now four days since the incident occurred, which resulted in the death of four head workers from Potiskum Emirate Council. The Emir has since returned to his palace in Potiskum. Sympathizers, politicians and well-wishers have been coming to pay homage. The Emir of Potiskum, who narrowly escaped death, narrates how God saved his life during the terrifying attack on his convoy. I saw my pilot driver swapped and then he hit a standing vehicle. And uh, the shooting, I suspected, might have affected him and uh, the police people around with him. So as the shooting was going on, we decided to abandon our vehicles and uh, take to safety. The royal father explained how he scrambled for safety in the bush. The incident started around 11 o'clock and uh, the shooting continued almost up to one before the shooting start, uh, stopped. Then I decided to remain in the bush up to morning, morning time. He expresses appreciation to the Kaduna governor, the management of the hospital that treated him and the people of Kaduna for their hospitality. I'm very grateful to the governor of Kaduna state, the security agencies in Kaduna state, the hospital management in Kaduna state, they all mobilized themselves. They continue treating the wounded, injured people. Um, they took care of us. The secretary to the Yobe state government, Baba Malamwali, led a state government delegation to commiserate with the Emir. Michael Oshoma, TVC News, Patiskum.